What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with a WWE slash AEW action figure unboxing marathon. Now, if you guys have never seen these videos before, it's basically where I have accumulated a stack of mock figures, and I don't have really the time, or I don't think that the video viewership will be large enough to conduct its own review. Now, this is where, you know, a Patreon setting or something like that would come in handy, where I could do a two-in-one on Road Dog in China, a two-in-one on Earthquake and Yokozuna over here. Throw those up on Patreon for people that really care about the channel and want to support the channel. Something that I've thought about. I haven't thought about doing some Marvel Legends on there or something, but I have not uploaded the last two days. I can't remember the last time I went two days in a row without uploading. It happened. I got stuck in Dallas for like seven hours, flying back across the country from a vacation, and yeah, so it was a big deal there. Got in at like 5 a.m., pulled up to my house after driving two hours after the flight, and it was just a whole mess, man. So I, I was exhausted when I woke up had some meetings and other things to go to and it was just I, I did not had a couple days where no uploads were on the channel made me sick anyways here we are and we got a stack of figures i'm really excited to get into these we do have a you know just a stack of figures here man so basically what i'm gonna do is buckle up we're gonna do like a quick shot review of a lot of these figures some have already been on the channel before some have not but nonetheless it's gonna be just like a hangout discussion so i hope you guys will join me as we dive in and the first figure we have is actually the walmart exclusive lj and cody in the red tights now i already have one of these men on card as you guys know, but I wanted to have a loose, you know, I want to have a loose and mock set of the AEW figures, and so we're going to just crack these guys open. I don't know, I think I got to open this one kind of clean, because I want to hold on to a couple things about this box, but I have not found the damn trusty knife. I cannot find him. He's somewhere in here. I got to track him down. He's hiding from me, probably because he's hurt. He hasn't been included in a while, so that's probably the case, but I have the exacto knife right here. If you guys were ever wondering how I open my AEW figures, I go slit right here. Slit right here, slit at the bottom. From here, I'll do a little unbox there, unbox there, unbox at the bottom. A lot of people struggle with this. From here, I'll peel right here. I'll peel the second one. And then I'll just kind of go down the seam, open it slightly and slide that out and that's pretty much my my best scenario right there man that's the best way i've kept them you know pretty minty after opening it we have our little poster deal right here i think i'm just gonna leave this rolled up like that and stick it in a drawer and find it in 10 years but here's cody and this looks pretty dope let me grab the other version because i want to compare them so here's the red version here's the blue version i honestly don't know which one i like more i don't know like obviously i'm a blue guy i'm a white guy and i like teal and i think this is fantastic i would love to see these in unrivaled or elite form but also at the same time oh he also has the red stripes on the back that's pretty sweet but at the same time i don't know if it's because the red is more fresh and it's like recency bias but they're both very clean very cool i i love these ljn inspired figures i think they're so cool we are going to add darby very soon but this is a nice start to the collection i have one of each so far and damn i just love the size of these he just this is good stuff next up guys we do have an mjf right here from series six now i don't give a damn about this figure so unfortunately, he's just going to get the shaft. Worst pose in a package I think I've ever seen. But we can use this for future fix-ups and stuff. Again, I, I, I got the reason I got this is from the AEW random grab bag from Shop AEW. Terrible, terrible choice. But I actually made up for it, which you guys will see in a video maybe this week sometime. Because I hit big on AEW Shop and I'll have to show it off. But this figure will become a future fix-up of some kind, I'm sure. I don't like the head sculpt on this MJF. I think it's kind of buns, to be honest with you. But at the same time, you know, we could probably pop this torso on another MJF to give us, you know, the scarf wrist tape or maybe we can use this base you know there's lots of the aew figures are great for interchangeability we get extra hands we get extra boots fodder aew mic you know so that gets the job done next up we have a they lift piper which is so sick not gonna lie i low-key miss this style packaging just because you know you just slid down the side pop it open slide out like that which is beautiful i don't know if you guys knew i pre-ordered this from walmart like a year ago and then they showed up at my door and then i ended up finding two at retail so i have like three or four copies of this figure which is excellent because now we have more copies of this shirt we get more jean bodies it's good stuff and we never reviewed this figure on the channel i literally did a review of rock and cena never did piper and it's probably the best figure in the set Actually, it is by far the best figure in the set. You know, no double jointed arms or stuff, but I love the jeans. I think the shirt is just fantastic. Like, yeah, I'm absolutely going to get used out of the shirt. I'm going to put this head sculpt on my Legends Piper that we got not too long ago. I think that'll be a sweet fix-up we'll do on surgery or something like that. I meant to do it on the last episode, I think episode 75. But this is still a really sweet figure. This is awesome, man. This is a great figure. We got another They Live Piper. 
and that looks really awesome so another one of those you know again multiple fix-ups multiple uses we can get out of this guy so i'm excited for those we got a hollywood rock now i already have two of this figure again uh i didn't want another okay i did not want another i think mattel sent me one and then got one on the pre-order from walmart and then i might have bought one at retail i can't remember I got one in like a random uh, grab bag, kind of like the Shop AEW, but there's the rock. We've seen this multiple times, right? You know, I, I might be able to use it for some parts down the road or something. I do like that I have, you know, three of this figure. I got the new tattoo, but it's not double jointed arm, so it's kind of blah. I'm sure we're going to get a new Rock Elite with everything featured, and it'll be amazing and stuff, but, you know, uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we may use them for a custom later on down the road. You got the khaki pants and stuff. You know, kind of an old figure that just is a sign of the time. I don't know. Not my favorite figure by far we have the chase variant edge which we did review i'm pretty sure on the channel it's got some chest stuff on there don't like that but sliding them out right here don't look forward to picking all this mess up but you know you gotta do what you gotta do but these figures have been taking up my table man and i gotta clear off the table to get what i mean this makes my third of the legends you know i got one of the chases already i do have the white version might pick up another white version for parts or something but this is still really sweet this figure has a ton of paint chipping though like look at that it's got all that ish on the chest it's got some paint like defects all over it so that kind of is buns but when i got this figure i was trying to do a james bond like spy scenario where i was trying to like get him out of target there you know i had to like open the box and get him to the register scan him do all those different things so i, I just saw two chases and took them you know i wasn't like analyzing too too much but we get another one of the coats of the trench coats we get another edge all is right in the world right there now next up we have four figures that i have never seen never reviewed or anything like that so this should be really fun do have a road dog right here i've seen other people with this figure i have not you know owned it myself just yet or opened it up so this is going to add to our dx army i've also seen where a lot of targets are clearing out their clearance sections man you can get hurricane you can get bob orton you can get lots of guys so he comes with his dx chop suck it hands you know the ricochet style Kawhi leonard hands and then here's road dog in all his glory so you do have the helmet i think you can get the helmet off but you have to like finagle it but it's almost like a bucket hat so like the hair covers up the massive hole in it now i don't know if he had this massive hole in it or if it was like a more smaller hole or what you know he exactly did there but he's got his pouches across the front he's got a strap in the back dx shirt camo pants not much you can ask for you know i may i feel like i must actually pick up another one of these to have outside the gear i think i've done that with all of them except billy gunn so far so i probably do need to do that for road dog as well just so i'll have one in the gear one in the pants and you can never go wrong with multiple versions of these pants man like you can get so much use out of these army pants and dx shirts for different looks and stuff like that but kind of a plain jane release you know you do get more tattoo detail you get the double joint arms for future customs and stuff but i feel like road dog may have gotten the you know the he may have gotten the can here looks kind of cool pulling up the pants there get a nice little baggy look there but there's road dog next up is china and this one has the big hand small hand problem where her interchangeable hands are like regular women's hands and then her interchangeable hands are her china regular sized hands that we've seen but here's china i think it's pretty cool man i, I you know it's not a ton different from her two pack with triple h but it is a little bit different you know you don't have the rips on the side you do get the nice collar on there nice head sculpt i think it looks like china you might get you know touch it up with some makeup or something like that i like the cloth vest you could use that on a lot of figures they actually did increase the bust size which is actually pretty insane like mattel figures usually don't do that i'm pretty sure that is a thing boots look good we've seen those before they don't feel loose like other figures you do have the pinless double jointed knees great articulation here it's actually a very solid figure kind of plain jane but very good i actually like this china figure a lot man that's that's pretty badass right there bro so you do get the dx china you could use this for a lot of fix-ups too you could even combine you know a couple different chinas and make some different looks maybe you know we'll, we'll see what comes of clearance and stuff i may grab another couple chinas to make some other looks but now our next figure is adam cole now i took a risk on amazon this was up on amazon for very i think it was retail maybe slightly under retail so i said dude let's take a chance at the chase it wasn't the chase okay it was not the chase hurt my feelings now i gotta try it again at some point so that sucks but we do have elite series 92 adam cole one of my favorite figures of the year so far especially after fix up so i'm excited to have another one of these fix up stuff thought about keeping it mocked decided against it uh these are really hard to keep men on 
card like in really really good shape because the boxes are very light and dented also another thing i wanted to note is what do you guys think about the plastic list action figure boxes what does that mean for aew figures going forward i need to do a whole video on this but you guys saw the recent Mar marvel legends change and that's going to be do i'm pretty sure that's going to go across the board across all action figure lines i don't know what to think about it man i really don't know what to think about it if you guys were wondering how you open these by the way somebody i can't remember who told me but up here and then this side is the best way to do it i was doing it like on the side like the old packaging it is terrible this is the best way to do it you can just slide the figure out and bam figure swaps are already a huge deal so i know wwe figures if they go plasticless which i imagine they will because they have to you know keep up with the time how's that gonna go for mock collectors how's that gonna i don't know i don't know how that's gonna go but I don't know. We'll have to see. I, I imagine at San Diego Comic Con, they're going to show us some, you know, some plastic list stuff where it's, you know, I, I don't know what to think of it, man. Honestly, I think it's buns. But I imagine that they're probably going to do it at San Diego Comic Con. They'll probably show us like an example or something. You know, if people have seen the recent whatever, and then they'll show it off. But here's Adam Cole, another double jointed Adam Cole for customs and whatever the case is. Love this figure, man. Love this figure. If you guys missed my top 10 figures of the year so far, definitely go check that out, please. I love top 10s and stuff like that. So that was awesome. And this Adam Cole looks brilliant. I'm not sure I understand. All right, man, moving into the final two figures, we have the Royal Rumble Jimmy Hart Build-A-Figure Yokozuna and Earthquake. Now, I got these before I went out of town, and then I wanted to go back to my Target and, you know, get the rest of the wave. But my buddy Jonathan went by there, and he found Alexa Bliss, but he did not find, you know, this figure right here. So we do have the pink jacket. I want more versions of this for the pink jacket and arms. We have the Jimmy Hart torso, which is cool. Interchangeable hands. And then big ol' Earthquake. So he is a ginormous figure, you know, as an Earthquake should be. But this figure is pretty cool. He is big. I like that he's big, but he is way bigger than his other figure. I have sold my other Earthquake and Shark figures, man. I used to have the Shark. I used to have the other two Earthquake figures, but I got rid of them. Now here I am suffering. But he's got double joint arms, which is really cool. One thing I don't like about the figure, though, is like the head's so stiff. He can barely even articulate his head. And and I don't think it's just straight up removable, so do not try and do the basic head swab. But there's Earthquake looking pretty cool. Not pinless just yet, but a great giant thing. You can make a lot of guys out of him, man. Look at those legs, man. Jesus. And our last figure is another big man. We got Yokozuna in the house. Now, I have not bought a Yokozuna figure in a very long time. Probably since, you know, I started, like, hardcore collecting WWE Elites. It's, okay, so we got the glasses on there. Nice little white glasses. We got our True Effects Jimmy Hart head, which is pretty cool. Looks good there there. I need to put the sunglasses on there. And then a megaphone. Looking nice. Out of the south. But around the time I started, a nice bucket accessory. I need to get this thought out for the love of God. Around the time I started collecting WWE Elites really hardcore was when the Target was having the Hall of Fame sale where it was like $10 a pop. And I wish, I don't think, I don't, I, I hadn't started the channel then, but I used to get hella deals, and I used to find stuff at Dirt Cheap. I found a Yokozuna Hall of Fame Elite at Dirt Cheap, and then I found one at my Target for 10 bucks, I think, and I ended up with two of them. Sold them both, kept the titles, you know, but here's Yokozuna, pretty much a re-release of the Hall of Fame figure, except we do have a new head sculpt on there that is not interchangeable, it does not come off, but it's got good likeness on there. It feels really good in the hand. I hate I got rid of that other Yokozuna, man. Of course, you have the Flashback Elite, you got, what, the Elite, like, 15 or something like that, and then you have this one, the Hall of Fame. So he's got four elites out there, which is kind of insane for Yokozuna. But this figure feels fantastic in the hand. Got a nice wide load going on. The engineering on this figure is pretty crazy. I don't think he has waist swivel, but I don't know. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't think he's putting on five-star classics. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, he gets the job done. Double jointed knees. He can stand there. I said he can stand there. I said he could stand there. Nonetheless, we're going to line up everything that we've seen here today. All right, man, so here's everything that we unboxed here today. You have the Walmart exclusive LJN Cody. You have the MJF from AEW and Rivaled Series 6. Elite Series 92 Adam Cole. The Royal Rumble. Jimmy Hart build a figure Yokozuna and Earthquake. We have the Hollywood Elites. Roddy Piper, They Live, and Hobbs and Shaw. The Rock figures. We have the Legends 14 Edge Chase and Road Dog and China figures. Pretty good little unboxing haul right here. Can't wait to get these guys up on the shelf, get all 
all their spots taken care of, put them where they need to go. And of course, it did take care of the arena. It cleaned it up a little bit there, so that's awesome as well. Nonetheless, man, that wraps up today's unboxing marathon style video. Hope you guys did enjoy, you know, just hanging out, taking a look at these figures, you know, uh, and just a quick little peek. Still working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Plenty more stuff to come. Really insane pickups that I can't wait for you guys to see. But anyways, man, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Also, the monthly Battle Royal coming in the next couple days, right? Because we're almost at the end of April, so we will see the monthly Battle Royal. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, and don't cross the line. You cross the line.